The IBM Connection Suite brings the best of the best communications, content, and social software capabilities into a single platform. Microblogging, ideation, instant messaging, web meetings, soft phone, blogs, wikis, video, communities, document libraries, social analytics, and much more. This video is part two of a three-part series which shows how the IBM Connection Suite delivers real business value by optimizing your workforce, improving customer care processes, and accelerating innovation. I'm not going to demonstrate all of these capabilities. Instead, this video presents a demo of how the IBM Connection Suite helps improve customer care processes. And specifically, I'll show some of the capabilities of the IBM Connection Suite such as presence, microblogging, communities, ideation, video meetings, and document library. Let's get started and switch to the homepage of the IBM Connection Suite. This is the IBM Connection Suite. From within the IBM Connection Suite, I have access to all the expertise in my organization and I can build communities with those experts and from those communities collaborate using wikis, discussion forums, web meetings, video meetings, ideation, we have a media gallery, and much more. Now from within the homepage, we see that we have a list of status updates from my colleagues and it's great because I can see what they're working on and it allows me to learn on the fly. For example, Ron has just shared that the project initiatives community is looking great and I want to learn more about it. So to do that, I hover over his name and get his business card. And from within his business card, I have a direct link to his blogs, his forums, his wikis, his communities and bookmarks, his files, projects, and of course, his profile. I can also see that he's currently online on his mobile device. He's the project lead based out of Toronto, and I can see his phone number and his email address. Of course, it looks like he can uh, chat right now, and I can also see that he's available for a, a voice over IP call. All of this is included in the IBM Connection Suite. I don't want to call him because you won't be able to hear him, but if I chat with him, I want to ask him, hey Ron, where can I learn more about that community? And it looks like he sent me a link back, so let's go ahead and open that link. Again, this community has been created as a space for colleagues all over the organization to collaborate, and they can use a blog, social bookmarks, social file sharing, wikis, forums, feeds, projects, activities, ideation, and more. I can also see that inside this community, there's one person right now that's live in a video meeting. And this is fantastic because if I needed a live help, I could just click on join video collaboration and it will launch an instant video meeting with that person. The video immediately flips back and forth to the person who's talking and I get the answers that I want immediately. Now it looks like currently I'm not following this community, so I'm going to go ahead and follow the community so that I am kept up to date with all the latest updates from the community. There, now I'm following the community. Now I want to go into one of the communities that I'm currently working on because I have to update one of the legal contracts that I'm responsible for. So I'm going to go into my communities. And for here I see that there's a community called Customer Support. Let's go ahead and open that. This community is completely private and nobody has access to it except for the members of the community. Inside of this community, we have only provisioned certain components, an ideation blog, forums, a document library, and a connector into our legacy SharePoint uh, drive. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and open my document library, and I'm going to work on the contract that, uh, that's due uh, tomorrow. Once the, the folder loads, I'm going to open the records retention folder. And now I can see all the documents that are available in this folder. I see that three documents are currently checked out and the others I can take other actions on. I can download, check it out, edit a document, edit the metadata, replace it and so forth. Now one of the things that I love about the IBM Connection Suite is the ability to do round trip editing directly from the web browser. So for example, if I want to edit this document, the confidentiality agreement, all I have to do is edit the document and the desktop has detected that I've clicked on the link and it's going to launch the correct productivity app for me to edit this document. In this case, it's going to launch Microsoft Word. And here's my document. And this is great. Now notice that this only took one click. I did not have to download the file 
put it into a temp directory, then close my browser, find the file, and then open it with Word. And that's a seven to eight step process, which is now a single step. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to simply edit this document and now it is understood and agreed and this looks good and all I do is simply close the application it says do you want to save your current changes I say yes and it says that I have currently checked out this document w would I like to check it back in yes so again the whole process of checking out the document downloading it storing then opening it up with my productivity suite was just reduced to a single step then saving the document and re-uploading it back to the server and checking it back in all that process was also reduced to a single step how great is that now when i refresh this it looks like the document was just uploaded to the next version and my changes have been committed and this document is ready again to be edited by somebody else how easy is that now because i work in customer support i need to be able to have access to my documents wherever i am if i open my email client here I can quickly take emails, reply to them, and send a link back to the document that I edited directly from my email client. Very straightforward. So I open the legal library that I was just looking at, open the records retention folder that I was just looking at, and here's the document that I just edited a couple of minutes ago. So simply click OK. Now notice that a link to the document has been attached. This makes it very easy for me to send emails to my colleagues and my customers and have them always pointing to the latest and greatest document. And not only that, I also save on bandwidth and email storage because I don't have to manually attach the file to uh, the email and I'm always guaranteed that I'm pointing to a single version of the truth. The IBM Connection Suite allows me to store emails directly in my document library. If I want to, I can take this email, add it to a place, and all I do is I pick the legal folder that I was just working on. Of course, I can pick any community library that I want. I give it a name, let's say uh, customer email. So this is my customer email. I click on add. I verify the properties, click OK, and that's it. Very straightforward, very easy to use. Now, not only that, now notice on the bottom right of the screen, I have the latest status updates and the latest activity stream that's coming directly from the IBM Connection Suite. And this is highlighting everything that Samantha is doing within IBM Connections. And it's doing this because I'm currently selected the email from Samantha. Now, if I select the email from Robert, I can now see the activity stream that's coming directly from the IBM Connection Suite that's specific to Robert. So it's giving me always social data and social awareness based on the user and based on the context that I'm working on. And that's just a very simple example of how the IBM Connection Suite can help you optimize your customer care processes.